Okay, so the power rule. Let's say we have something like a to the n, but then we're going to take that whole thing and raise it to the nth power. Well, what we do is we're just going to multiply those. So it equals a to the m n, n m. <laughs> okay, um, now why does that work for us? Well, let's say you have x to the fifth to the seventh. Well, then you're going to have x to the fifth times x to the fifth times x to the fifth. Why do I pick these big numbers? I don't know. Five, six, seven of them, right? Okay, so how many fives is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I could go again and write x, x, x five times, but I don't want to do that. So I want five groups of seven. That's multiplication. So, you know, you're just adding those fives together and you're going to get x to the 35th power. Okay, next time I'll pick smaller numbers. Okay, <laughs> so we just multiply those. So it says simplify each expression using the power rule. So I have a base of 2, I have an exponent of 2, and an outer exponent of 3. So that's going to be 2 to the whatever 2 times 3 is. And that's going to be 2 to the 6th which is a fairly small number. You could do it on a calculator, or you might just know 2 to the, uh, two to the 6 is 64, or you might remember 2 to the 5th was 32, so you've got one more factor of 2. Okay, now what's happening here on b? Well, we've got a base of y, an exponent of 5, and then an outer exponent of negative 3. So what I have to have is y to the negative 15. I'm going to be multiplying those. So power to a power, you multiply them. But I don't want my answer to have a negative exponent, so I'm going to rewrite that as 1 over y to the 15. And then it has a positive exponent, and that guy's downtown. Okay, now what happens here? We've got a base of b, an, an exponent of negative 4, but then an outer exponent of negative 2. Now there's more than one way you could do this problem. You could say, oh, I'm going to take care of that b to the negative 4, and then I'll take care of the negative 2. But um, probably in this case, it's easier to just multiply them. So b to the, now think, what's negative 4 times negative 2? If you want to write it, it would look like negative 4 times negative 2 like that. And so that's b to the 8th, and that's fine. I don't have to move it, it's, it's fine. Now if you're like, I want to do that a more complicated way, well, then you could say b to the negative 4 like look at the inside and say, oh, that's 1 over b to the 4th to the negative 2. Okay, well then that's going to mean that I reciprocal the whole thing. So it's going to be, <laughs> there's another rule we haven't talked about yet, so I probably shouldn't have done it this way. Um, 1 over 1 over b to the 4th squared, right? Okay, and then you'd have to do, you'd have 1 over 1 over b to the 4th times 1 over b to the 4th. We have another rule, we just haven't talked about it yet. And then that, you're not liking this method already. I don't blame you. 1 over b to the 4 plus 4 is 8. And then now I can think about, you know, the like 1 times b, 1 times b to the 8th over 1. And, and you do get b to the 8th. But yeah, probably we didn't want to do it that way. Okay, it was still a fairly short video.